Yamaha presents The Whitetail Diaries, chronicling hunting adventures of the most plentiful and intelligent big game animal in North America. Join top whitetail hunters nationwide. Embark on the amazing adventure that is hunting the whitetail deer. You know, this particular hunt uh, that we're doing, we've got uh, fairly early season, fairly warm weather uh, conditions. Uh, the deer are still kind of, some of them are buddy-buddy, some of them are starting to fight, especially the younger deer. You're not seeing a lot of rubs, you're not seeing a lot of scrapes, you're seeing deer really, really roaming and covering a lot of, a lot of ground. You know, as I start looking at our, our hunting setup here as we're kicking this one off, we're going to go in and climb up in two tripods, really high tripods, especially from the camera standpoint. He's probably 26, 27 feet up. I'm probably going to be about 18. We're buried in some big oaks. Out in front of me along this top of this ridge, which is, you know, a great place for deer to be this time of the year, you've got kind of an old meadow down one side. The little two-track road kind of makes a turn right there. The same basic road we kind of came in on off to the right. You know, you You've got a pretty good thicket, and the deers just should meander in and out through this entire area. You know, as you sit in this stand here, I mean, it's it's pretty apparent there's a lot of young deer kind of moving in through here. We saw some little three points and four points, some all six points, and they're all just kind of meandering around. We even had a couple of them jostling off to the side, fighting a little bit. Saw one deer that was kind of tipped in out there, nice 10 point, but uh, he, he just didn't, I just felt like he was a younger deer, and I know this particular property has some more mature deer on it. I've got some experience hunting it, and I just thought, you know, hey, I'm, I'm gonna wait. And we actually really climbed down out of the stand pretty early that day. It, it was time for a change. Any good hunt like that's a lot of, a lot of fun where you get a chance to see a lot of deer. Sometimes you gamble and your decisions are wrong. That was definitely one of them on banking on better cloud cover so we could sit here it's, uh, without question a, a perfect evening stand. Struggles in the morning. So strategy wise, sometimes you roll the dice, sometimes you guess wrong. That was definitely one of them. You know, we're able to get into that stand without messing a lot of stuff up. Parking this Wolverine a pretty good ways away, drove in here way early and then, you know, hike into it, always keeping the wind in our face. So that part of it I was really excited about. I think we did perfect. Uh, but once that sun got up 45 minutes to an hour in there, you know, the cloud cover didn't roll in like they were predicted. And we pretty much had to cut this hunt, cut this hunt short way too early. So we'll move on down, get something to eat, make a new plan. Well, coming up, we'll get back on the hunt with Wade. But first, we'll take a look at the Yamaha Wolverine X4, a go anywhere side by side with room for four. The Yamaha Whitetail Diaries is brought to you by Yamaha's proven off road ATVs and side by side vehicles. Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's, your adventure starts here. Garmin Zero, leave the guesswork behind. The all-new Yamaha Wolverine X2. With a compact chassis, perfect for exploring tight technical terrain. An ultra-quiet and smooth 850-class twin-cylinder engine. And next-level versatility with a 600-pound dumping cargo bed. No other side-by-side -side delivers this level of proven off-road performance. The all-new Wolverine X2 from Yamaha. As people who love the outdoors, we know what we stand for. We stand for fish, wildlife, and conserving the places they call home. We stand for the traditions we inherited and that we must pass on. We stand for great gear, fair prices, expert service, and memorable experiences. 
At Bass Pro Shops in Cabela's, we stand together for you. Welcome back to the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries. We're in Central Texas on an early season hunt with Wade Middleton. It's the first week of October, and temperatures are still a bit warm. With the challenging conditions, Wade and Jeff are having to cover some ground. Fortunately, we've got some help. For model year 2018, Yamaha introduced the Wolverine X4. It's a four-seat side-by-side, the most off-road capable four-seat side-by-side in its class. Specifically, when you get into tight technical terrain, it's compact chassis, um, all new 847cc parallel twin cylinder engine, smooth, quiet, comfortable. I mean, that's in a nutshell what it is. It'll go places you wouldn't expect a four seat vehicle to go. Um, and then it'll do it better than any other four seat vehicle out there. Uh, we like to say Yamaha uh, side by sides are proven off road and for a variety of reasons. One is off road capability is at the, is at the top of what we want to achieve when we, when we build these ATVs and side-by-sides. And number two, we want to build in a level of comfort and confidence uh, that, that enable you to go places without being freaked out. You know, get to those places where you want to go, places you want to reach, scouting, hunting, just epic adventure type stuff, and get you back. Um, thanks to the durability and reliability, we build into these things proven off-road. I mean, we hold ourselves to a standard far above the competition. Uh, we don't build vehicles to be comfortable on a showroom floor. We don't build vehicles to be tanks so that they're so unbreakable you can't stand the ride in an off-road environment. I mean, these things have to have the sum of all their parts be the best. And again, that's why we think Yamaha's ATV and side-by-sides are proven off-road, and the Wolverine X4 is a perfect example. For more information, check them out at yamahamotorsports.com. And now, back to the hunt with your host, Wade Middleton. All right, let's pass the ride. Got an afternoon hunt getting ready to go on right now. You know, we set out yesterday afternoon and uh, this morning in this tripod. It's a great hunt. It's a lot of deer. Just didn't see what we've been seeing on the scouting camera right there. Decided to go to the opposite end of a ridge here, pretty good ways away. We've got thunderstorms building off in the distance. We've got a pretty good chance for some storms this evening, kind of rolling in the area. We're going to set up in a pop up tonight, kind of looking off into some brush and some flats see what the deer are going to troll through. This is that time of the year when those deer, I mean, they're doing a lot of different things, I always think, this time of the year. You've got the bachelor groups breaking up. You've got some deer starting to fight. You've got some deer that don't even like to fight, don't want to be a part of that, and they'll kind of move off on their own deal. You've got other deer feeding on acorns. I mean, a lot of people get confused this time of the year when they're deer hunting, and they're like, man, it's a lull. They're not moving. They're somewhere. You've just got to go find them. You know, hunting out of a pop-up is something we do a, do a lot of. It's, it's just kind of a, it's a great way to go in and build a blind. I'm a huge believer in, you know, the back windows closed, brush around it, get something that gives it some three-dimensional look. This particular location that we're going to set up on, huge field behind us. We're kind of just off the edge of the field, looking out um, to where the deer would be coming out of a bedding area, coming off of a ridge, working their way up into the into the uh, the big field field behind us. I mean, it's pretty. It, it's just just looks like a great day to be going deer hunting. Well, we got in here. We're all set up right now. Wind couldn't be any better. What wind there is is really coming into that valley right in our face. We're kind of not quite to the top of this ridge on this big field behind us here. Lots of brush. Bedding area, kind of like what Weather Grain Creek right through there. You know, it's a transitional area, just hoping to get some to feed through and do their thing. We'll see what happens. 
was just a glimpse of him going up that hill and running. He looked like he might have been limping a little bit. He was kind of going in that place so maybe skirt around when he hits that draw. It's definitely a shooter. Big deal. It's so amazing to be sitting in a stand and watch the sun start to go down the shadows in, in the early season hunts. If you're in an area that's got deer, what happens to the life that comes together? Now granted, we've got a, an area that's right here that we're hunting. There's a lot of deer in this county and there's just, a, I mean, the density is huge. And behind us is a place where these deer want to go. When you're, when you're cruising along through here, you can, you can see it's perfect edge habitat. Just off of that edge habitat in that valley with the way the way the wind's you know blowing and the way everything is set up. There's an old box blind off in the distance where you just know the stories from guys killing big deer off of it. We didn't feel like it was the perfect angle for us, which is why we put this pop-up down there. Uh, I mean, and it's just the anticipation, the excitement level is building. I mean, we've got some deer coming into our right. We've got some more coming in out in front of us, and they're just kind of doing their thing. They're just kind of milling around, passing around, a uh, little bit of posture and everything. I was pretty much on pins and needles the whole evening as the sun kept setting. I mean, I'm scanning left, I'm scanning right. I've got those binoculars working overtime. Just thinking this is a place that's got some good ones, so I'm trying to be patient. The Yamaha Whitetail Diaries is brought to you by Thompson Center, America's master gun maker. Bradley Smoker, food smoking made easy. Angle Coolers, a legend in reliability. High vis shooting systems. See what you've been missing. How do you aim a 36-yard shot with a 30-yard fixed pin at a 15-degree angle with a 7-inch holdover without moving a single pin? Easy. You get one of these. Zero. The auto-ranging digital bow sight from Garmin. What does it take to make Evercom deer scent? It takes a deer farmer who raises whitetails. It takes mixing the special blend of Evercom, testing each batch. That smells good. And then pouring each container. Once it's cooled, each container is cleaned, examined, and packaged for shipping. It takes the finest deer herd and a great team of people to make the best hunting scent available. Evercom from Conquest Scents. Man versus nature, it's a tale as old as time. An external struggle, pitting the hero against an animal in a battle of strength and wits to see who'll come out victorious. Will you accept the challenge? Performance Center by Smith & Wesson. Performance when it matters most. Welcome back to the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries. Well, we're on a hunt in Central Texas with Wade Middleton. Now, three days ago, Wade started high in a tree stand, but quickly switched things up and made a move to a pop-up blind situated on the edge of a bedding area overlooking a nice field. The move was a good choice. Wade senses the potential. You know, we're into this hunt, pretty committed into it. Uh, seeing a lot of deer, understanding in our mind, knowing the, the, the history of what goes on this time of the year in the general area that we're hunting, what those deer do. We just, it's, it's a matter of time. You've got to put in the time in this type of a situation to where you're going you're gonna to get one. And you've just got to let all that stuff pass. And we got in the blind super, super early, knowing that it was going to be a long time before we'd be able to see daylight out there. But that's what we felt like we needed to do. If we could get in there and cover a darkness and we could get set up pretty quiet, I think the odds are going to be in our favor.
It didn't take long when we could start to see a few shapes out there just kind of milling around. Same, somewhat similar uh, locations as we saw the day before. Some deer on the right, some deer on the left, some deer way off in the valley, some deer kind of going up on the hill, some deer we couldn't identify, just shapes as, you know, our binoculars were strong enough and gathering light in those situations that we could tell it was a good deer, but not a whole lot else you could do. I, I never just shoot to shoot. I want to make sure and study the deer, make sure it's what I'm looking for. But as the light began to get better and better, we saw a couple of bucks out there off in the distance that were getting us pretty jazzed up. We're sitting there and, and there's some real thick stuff right in front of us that kind of goes off to the left. And if you watch deer movement, a lot of times you can pick up on something's either making them nervous or something's coming. And we're seeing some deer kind of look off in the brush and, and this deer kind of steps through this hole. He turns out and kind of gets around out there. I throw the binoculars up first because that's just kind of what I do. I'm a shooter, no doubt about it. That's a shooter. That's a, it's a big eight point that we've got some photos of. I mean, and, and, and I was pretty confident right away when I saw it that was him. I mean, we you look like you could put your fist barely between his, his main beams. I mean, they were touching and he was tall. And the heartbeat gets picking up and I check him. I'm like, that's, and I reach for the gun. I'm starting to get in position. And, and you know, he's just kind of milling around out there. And just about the time I get that gun up, I don't know what happened. Whatever reason, you know, sometimes birds will fly over, sometimes another deer will snort at them. I, I mean, you don't know. This deer bolts and he just takes off and he goes around. That's part of it. I mean, you could be on him and the hammer cocked on, in this case, because I'm shooting the TC Encore and he just goes. And he just takes off and, and shoots around. And but about five minutes later, he's coming in front of me. The cool thing about that deer there, years and years ago, I hunted for a deer we called Spooky up here. And I mean, that deer looks so similar to that deer. You talk about genetics and how genetics carry through. I mean, there's a very similar look to that deer. I never got Spooky. I mean, he outsmarted me, but that buck right there, when I first time I saw him, I saw him and I thought, man, that deer looks so similar. And I fell in love with him, big brow tines, curves in. I mean, what a great deer. I talk about preparation. I talk about practicing, visualizing what's going on in deer hunting, getting all your stuff set up, knowing the distances in front of you, knowing how to move to get into a shot. And this is one of those cases. I'm I, five minutes ago. I was going to shoot this deer out of the left window of this pop-up. Now he's in front of me. Pick up the bog pod, set it over, stick the gun out the window. I mean, I, I practiced that move before. I practiced it the day before. I mean, I, I you know. It was easy and it was seamless. The shot wasn't really that long. Uh, could have shot it with freehand out there, but when you've got the perfect rest in there, why take that chance? Go ahead and set yourself up. The deer kind of spins around out there. He kind of postures, looks at a doe, goes broadside, take the shot. The thing about hunting is you never know what's, what potentially could happen. I'm shooting a TC Encore Pro Hunter in 308. I know what that gun does. I mean, I've shot it enough. I've run a lot of rounds through it. That's what I talk about in that practice, getting ready. And I mean, I hammered that deer. And that deer goes down, and I'm like, smoked him. This deer hits the ground, spins around, and he's done. Jumps up, exit, stage right. That happens in hunting. I'm befuddled how this deer got up after the shot, and especially when I look at the placement after the fact. But the deer ends up, you know, running off to the right. And I mean, my eyes are big, and I'm thinking, man, I made a perfect shot. I know I made a perfect shot, I know it. But he's ran off. 
Hey, if you like to hunt, then check out the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries YouTube channel. The best whitetail hunting from across the nation, anywhere, anytime. The Yamaha Whitetail Diaries is brought to you by Smith & Wesson Performance Center. Performance when it matters most. Conquest Sense, hunting sense and dog training sense. Sawyer Products, we keep you outdoors. High Viz Shooting Systems knows that your shooting performance matters in all conditions. All High Viz shooters experience faster target acquisition with our durable light wave sights. Featuring easily interchangeable light pipes, light wave sights give your eyes the exact sight picture you crave. Shoot High Viz. See what you've been missing. Many said that we were just obsessed when we started, that there had to be an easier way to smoke food. As time passed, the Bradley family created a lineup of Bradley electric smokers that has made it easier for the novice or even expert chef to get perfect results every time they use it. Grab yourself a Bradley smoker and take your cooking to an all new level. Introducing the Stealth NXT, the narrowest and most accurate 10-point crossbow ever. Measuring an ultra-narrow 6 inches wide, the Stealth NXT unleashes devastating speeds up to 410 feet per second, generating jaw-dropping kinetic energy and match-grade downrange accuracy, all on a whisper-quiet shot, three times quieter than the competition. The all-new Stealth NXT from 10-point. Ingles got the original high performance cooler and a whole lot more. Ingle coolers go with the original. Protect it or lose it. 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 When I was in special ops, Every item had a purpose, or it got left behind. It's no different today. If it doesn't protect me, or help me perform at the highest level, I've got no use for it. Otherwise, I don't come back with whatever it is I set out to get. Wiley X, Ballistic Rated Eyewear. Welcome back to the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries with your host, Wade Middleton. Now, after three days of hard hunting, Wade finally got it done when a beautiful, mature eight point wandered into range. Smoke that deer out there. That's a TC Encore in action right there. The TC Encore Pro Hunter is an interchangeable firearm system and a mainstay in Wade's hunting arsenal. You know, the Encore, you've got so many different variables and so many different things you can do with it. It's just one of the most unique platforms in the world. I mean, it is a true one gun hunting club because you can do so many things with it, you know, from varmints to big game. And the thing about it is, no matter what configuration that I use, no matter how I, I switch it, two screws on the floor end, inch pin out, pop a new barrel in, it maintains that accuracy for whatever situation, whatever configuration that I'm using. And durability is unquestioned uh, in some of the most difficult conditions, whether it's a driving rainstorm, uh, the heat and the dust uh, that we, we often hunt in in Texas or, or climbing up a mountain. Uh, this setup, this firearm, the Thompson Center uh, Pro Hunter Encore, it performs. The TC Encore Pro Hunter, one platform, 
unprecedented options. Learn more at tcarms.com. And now, back to the field to wrap up another TC Encore Pro Hunter success story. I knew that was a dead deer after we hit him, but he's right over here. He got up and ran on adrenaline about 30 more yards, and he is piled up. We've got a lot of venison and some great antlers. I tell you, this is to me, this is a cool story behind this deer because there's He's got to have some of the genetics of Old Spooky in him, a similar look, similar style, big mature deer. I mean, all the way around. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Look at the twos and threes on that deer there. That's just a cool deer. I mean, you can barely, look at that, you can't even put your fist in between his tines the way they touch right there on his main beam. This is a cool character on his brow tines. This one here goes up. It's considerably longer, but this one here actually goes up and hooks back almost like a fish hook. I mean, his tines are almost touching. Thank you, sir. You are going to fill the freezer with a lot of good venison, and you're going to make something we'll be able to put on the wall to tell some stories about it. It never gets old. Well, that'll do it for another hunt. We'll see you again next week when we get back in the field for another episode of the Yamaha Whitetail Diaries. This has been a Care Code TV production. We plan all year for this. We hone our skills. We have confidence in the gear we choose. We pour over thousands of images and videos. When the time comes, will you be ready? Introducing the all new 4K camera by Stealth Cam. Proven. Purina's Quick Drunk is the perfect solution for attracting deer to your location and providing them with the essential nutrients that will encourage their growth. Use these blocks where you can and I promise you, not only are you going to see more game, but the game's going to benefit from you placing it out.